Hey guys, so I got a lot of you asking me to show a little bit more what our online questions look like, how it can help you with your study sessions. So once you log in to your system, this is how it will look like. You will have access to the review questions that we have over here. So once you click over here, you will have a quick overview on what's your score for the last five sessions in terms of percentages and make sure that you're above this orange line that orange line is about 84 percent and that's what you need in order to pass the CISA exam and definitely you can see over here how many questions you've answered in each of the domains and how many questions you missed so you also able to look at which areas you should be trying to dedicate more time to your study Definitely there's going to be more reports coming in the next couple of weeks, but right now that's what we currently have in our pre-launching session. Now in the next couple of weeks, we're going to have further reports where it's not just the five last sessions, we're going to have all the sessions that you have and also more details into which questions you missed over here. Now let's come back down here where you can select what type of questions you want to start practicing. So definitely I will recommend you to start with the self-assessment. So once you click over here in the self-assessment, you can take a self-assessment over here, which is basically um, several couple of questions, about 30 questions that you have over here. So these are all the questions that you have. And all the questions are um, across all the different domains. And the nice thing is that this will help you to understand where you are right now and which areas you should try to dedicate more time. Now, let me close this one. Let's go back over here. You can also practice by domain. For example, if you want to just practice domain one or just questions from domain two and so on. Or if you want to start practicing a little bit more timing. Remember, there's 150 questions for four hours that's about 1.6 minutes per question. So you have to be quite fast on some questions. Definitely there are some questions that will take you less than that time and there are other questions that will take you more time. So over here, you can practice an arrange of timing, like it's starting from 10 minutes. If you just wanted to do like a quick session, maybe you don't have too much time, but you still want to practice that. Or you can go the stretch all the way to four hours. And you have everything in between over here. And finally, you can have your practice exam, which is almost the same as the real deal. Now, I also um, put it over here in several hours. So you can do a one hour practice exam, two hours, three hours, or four hours practice exam. Now, what's the difference between by time? So for example, the one hour quiz over here or the exam. So this one actually will give you the answer every time that you answer correct or incorrect a question. So say for example, you go to this question and you answer B and then submit it, it will tell you if it's correct or incorrect. And if it's correct or incorrect, it will tell you which one is the correct answer. And it will tell you also why the other ones are not the correct answer. Now, the biggest difference between this one is that definitely you will go that through each of the questions. And over here on the practice exam, you will not get that feedback until you finish the quiz or the exam. So if I select this one over here, I click next, I can keep going and I'm not going to get the answer until I finish everything. And I cannot submit it until I basically go through all the questions. You can come over here to the question list and you can see which ones you answer. So if for any reason you want to skip a question, you can do it with this one and so forth. But you have to answer all of them in order to get the feedback and see which questions were correct and which ones were not correct. With that, I hope this entire database of questions, we have about a thousand questions uh, recently updated with the 2019 job update, will help you on the conquer for this CISA exam and definitely help you studying the different domains and putting more emphasis on the areas that definitely need more study. With that, I hope to see you on the other side.